Uh, we are getting a closer look at the damage inside an apartment in Bridgeport after a building explosion this morning. It happened on North Avenue earlier today. And police there are telling us a person who was seen in the building prior to the blast is now under arrest. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is joining us live. Matt, what have we learned about this person? Well, Aaron and Mark, uh, police quickly identified Nelson Diaz, a convicted felon, as that person of interest. He's now charged with disorderly conduct. Now, Bridgeport police say he was seen inside this building, apartment building on North Ave, quote, roaming the halls both late last night, early this morning, and then he was allegedly spotted walking out that front door and heading to his car briskly just seconds after the explosion. She said, get your, um, get your um, clothes on. 10-year-old Sofia Dos Santos was sound asleep inside her apartment when her mother woke her up around 12.30 Thursday morning. Really scary. Telling her they had to get out. There was like so much smoke that I, that I was like, is it a fire or something? Not a fire, but an explosion outside a door in a third floor hallway. These photos showing the damage from the blast. I can see a lot of wood all over, uh, a lot of drywall, you know. And even like in the kitchen, you can see in the, in the refrigerator has some marks of the, the damage, so it's something really powerful. Ronaldo Fernandez, who works inside the building, tells us the woman who lives there was working and her teen daughter was home alone. Fortunately, no one was injured. Everything is a mess over there. Bridgeport police are working with the state police and the FBI. We're told they quickly identified Nelson Diaz as a person of interest, described by the FBI as a potential suspect. Diaz, whom police charged with disorderly conduct, was allegedly spotted in the building last night and seen exiting just seconds after the blast. Police say he was in his car across the street, parked facing the scene. Earlier th this morning, that person was uh, being detained as we uh, sought to some, gain some information from that individual. As police investigate, those who live in the neighborhood want to know just what triggered the blast. One of the people that live in the building told me that, that it was like an M80 or something like that. Maybe somebody got mad at somebody and did that, you know, to try to scare them or something. Something detectives are working to nail down, too. We hope to have a determination at some point what the actual device was and uh, what was the intent b behind the incident occurring. Now, police at Diaz's bond at $25,000 on that disorderly conduct charge. That explosion, though, is still under investigation with evidence being sent to the lab. Police stress there's no reason to believe this is associated with terrorism, and they're asking anyone who might have information about what happened here early this morning to contact police. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Bridgeport. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Yeah, certainly.